Tirana. This is actual the, the main square of Tirana, as you can see behind me. So not many people know much about Albania, and let, let alone Tirana. It's a very small country. It was isolated during 40 years. It was a communist country. Enver Sosha was the dictator. And what's interesting, uh, during the communist, communist times, the government decided to build huge bunkers. So you can actually go and visit those bunkers, which I'm gonna show you in this video. There is bunker number one, which is on the outskirts of the city, and bunk art two, which is in the city center. And I've never quite seen such huge bunkers on the ground, so you can go and visit them. And there's also an art, there's art exhibits, and also uh, explains the history of the communist regime, regime in Albania. bunkers and literally it's in the middle of the mountains and it's just a very small door so it'll be interesting to see how deep it goes from here on so this is one of the main entrances as you can see the size is just massive it's incredibly huge down here. It's crazy. I've never seen anything quite like this. And all of a sudden, there's a cool installation in one of the rooms. It's called Tango Down 2. Art exhibit room of filters and as you can see they put in lights and other interesting things here also what is interesting about Tirana and Albania right now during COVID times is that everything is open people are not wearing masks whatsoever some places of course but it feels like our pre-COVID life bars are open restaurants open and so many people inside them as well so we've never been to Albania and Tirana, definitely worth, worth checking out. It's an interesting small country, everyone speaks English, uh, they're very friendly towards foreigners and they have uh, also very interesting sites around the coast.